Welcome everybody to another episode of Gary Response, and we're back reading the comments from the Sodi Trip episode part one and two. Pesty Observer, well, it's like, oh, I know what you mean. Pesty Observer says, Gary becoming an OG before our eyes. I am getting old, huh? My beard almost connected and shit. God damn it. Good Citizen Skate Co. says, best skate line ever. Gary laid the smack down on the court. Don't need that YouTube money. You damn, wait, hold on now. Wait, wait, YouTube's paying a lot of fucking money. Chris Chan got a gold Tesla. I don't got nothing to do with me hooping. It's just a talent I got. Kemp said, Gary, you should start another show where you travel around different cities and just kick it in the streets with local skaters. Skate lines of shit though. I'm pretty sure like 10,000 other YouTubers do that already. That just makes me one of those. And yeah, that, I mean, that's fine. I would love that. That sounds awesome. But only if the home network wants to buy it. Skateboard Secret says, Louis Marnell forever. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, no, watching, going over to Melbourne and seeing like those spots and those gaps that Louis, he was way better than I even knew that he was better than the better that I had in my head of him. So shout out to Louis Marnell and his whole family. Bobby Lunetta says, let's not, let's never forget that nollie flip. You better not, because I was in the Crocs and it was first try. All right? That's the only trick I love to do though. HP Blumbo says, watch every week. Gary is the best. Just be you. Don't ever let the man censor you. Not my Sodi pick, but hell, GT and Smokes can't win every year. Stay safe, bro. I feel you on the GT and Milton Martinez comment 100%. They should deserve it. But I ain't even seen Milton since he won Sodi. His daughter's skating more than him right now. But that's still good. Shout out to Milton Martinez and GT. Scut says, homie repping that straight edge. You did, I mean, yeah, I haven't smoked or drank and it's coming up on 10 years now. So uh, if that's what straight edge you're talking, somebody else must have been sobering the shit. But yeah, for me, yeah. <laughs> Gabriel Herrera says, did you see that pawn shop video? The full part from Donovan was sick, but he managed to get guy clips in the video and shout out to everyone involved. And I seen Costin, Costin and Guy. Guy Mariano's talent is starting to get like annoyingly gracious at this point. Like. It's one of those things where he's like 47 <laughs> doing that shit. Shout out to Guy and longevity. Saul Germain says, Gary behind the scenes looks five foot tall. Put him on a b-ball court and he grows two feet and gains 80 pounds. Hold on, they say the camera adds five. Where'd I get 80? That's fucked up. Don't do that. The Faded Lion says, Louie and T-Funk are the real sodies. Unfortunately, they're not, okay? They didn't do it this time. But I want everybody to remember one thing. Louie Lopez is not playing. And neither is Tristan Funkhauser. But both of them are skating at ridiculous levels right now. So everybody watch out this year. Steer clear, because they got a chip on their shoulder. And I think it's a cool ranch Dorito. Matthew Harmer says, did you see a dragonfly? They are great. Sid has them, part of the entertainment. Oh, Sydney, that's what you mean. I was like, you said Sid. That's why I was like, S-Y-D is Sydney. But yeah, Sydney, I seen some dragonflies. Koalas sleep 22 hours a day. So when you go to their sanctuaries, that's fucked up, because they be having you pay all that money to see an exotic animal that's lazy as hell. Um, but they have chlamydia, so you gotta give them like a little space to, you know, deal with that. That's rough, even because you know they can't just take the pill and get rid of it. But uh, and then the kangaroos, they wasn't even full size kangaroo jack kangaroos. They was baby kangaroos. That was bullshit. This is all a scam. How you saving baby can like whatever? I just want to see a six foot one kangaroo that can get on his tail and kick me in the chest. And I don't even like animals, but I still want to see that if I'm flying all the way over here at 16 hours. Bethany Byer says, now with the recent economy to get financial freedom, you have to be making money while you're asleep. I mean, you're right. Shit. Well, this wraps another episode of Gary Responds. Two links. Financial freedom. Money while you asleep. Figure that out. It's fucking impossible. It's really hard, but figure it out.